he may not have expected to. But U.S. President Joe Biden found himself delivering his first State of the Union address in the spirit of being a wartime president. Of course, the U.S. economy was there in various policies, including to check inflation and raise the minimum wage. But Russia's invasion of Ukraine and the global crisis dominated the speech. Putin's latest attack on Ukraine was premeditated and totally unprovoked. He rejected repeated, repeated efforts at diplomacy. He thought the West and NATO wouldn't respond. He thought he could divide us at home in this chamber and this nation. He thought he could divide us in Europe as well. But Putin was wrong. While applauding the bravery of Ukraine, as the country's ambassador to the U.S. looked on, he stressed he was going to check Russian aggression and go after Russia's wealthy oligarchs, whose wealth helped support the Russian economy. The Department of Justice is assembling a dedicated task force to go after the crimes of the Russian oligarchs. We're joining with European allies to find and seize their yachts, their luxury apartments, their private jets. We're coming for you, ill-begotten gains. And tonight, I'm announcing that we will join our allies in closing off American airspace to all Russian flights. God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Thank you. Go get him. Biden's popularity polls hover around 40 percent, and his address was his chance to get voters on his side. His message was that the U.S. is emerging out of the pandemic and to convey a sense of economic confidence. But like his audience, no one could have anticipated that emergence would come during a war in Europe.